this is Sara Al Madani, and I'm with Harper's Bazaar Arabia doing family dinner. Today, I'm with my son, Maktoum, the love of my life. I'm with my business partner and close friend, Amin, and I'm with my old friend and family friend, Marissa. In your own perspective, how has the UAE evolved over the years? I came through a very big desert into a city. Amazing! Look at you, young boy. <laughs> it's hard to beat that answer. I've been here since 2016, so uh, like even in that short amount of time, I've seen a lot of things change. You can feel that every year there is like even more. Dubai is like a garden, and the projects that come out of Dubai are like seeds. Yeah. You put a seed and a tree comes out immediately. It's like everything is so fast and everything is happening. So he moved in 2016, but me as an Emirati, and you've been here 30 years, we've witnessed this evolution, like this, <laughs> this revolution and evolution, you know? It's crazy. For us, when, when I was a child, I think our, our last mall on Sheikh Zayed Road was Oasis Mall. And after that, towards Abu Dhabi, it was just desert. There was, there was nothing else. Yeah. Now we're looking at all of these developments. It's not even new developments. It's like we have Marina, we have JBR, we have uh, JLT. It goes all the way to Jebel Ali. And a nice metaphor is just Expo City. Like literally when like the whole <laughs> discussion about Expo, Expo started, there was nothing. Yeah. And then like in a couple of years, you found like an entire new Dubai belt in a matter of... And that was a city there. It's yeah, basically area. it is it's a crazy. city. It's well, crazy. Well, I have one day before. Yes, you did. What is your favorite part about living in the UAE? Oh. Maybe the bread, the food. The food. <laughs> I'm hungry. You're hungry? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the best part about living in the UAE, it's a mix of so many things. It's the safety, the security, the accessibility, the comfort. We live with different religions, different cultures, and we don't see a difference between us. And our leadership, like Sheikh Mohammed always says, we're all one family. Yeah. And I love this equality and being with all these people and sharing this with them and feeling safe at the same time. I think safety is one of the largest aspects um, as a foreigner. Almost all of them will say because it is safer than their home country. Especially if you're a family and you're raising children, safety for you is your number one priority mm -hmm. above anything else. We go for a jog for a walk at 4 a.m. and I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. I'm not even scared. If I leave my car open, I feel safe. If I leave my wallet somewhere, I'm good. And you know, when my friends fly over for vacation, they forget their stuff in the mall. They're like panicking. I'm like, don't worry, we'll find it. They're like, how are you so calm? I'm like, it's Dubai. <laughs> what is your best childhood memory? Oh, maybe that time when I went ice skating. Ice skating, yeah. I like that. My favorite um, childhood memory is that, crazy, before all of this happened, uh, the UAE, the seven Emirates, they're, uh, to me they're like seven sisters and each one has a personality. So I remember my dad used to take us to Al Ain, to Abu Dhabi for staycations. We used mm. to go to hotels and all that. I remember one was called the Healy, it doesn't even exist anymore. But we used to drive there with my parents and just swim in the pool and have fun. It was like staycations, but right now, and I look at my kid, I'm like, my God, the amount of staycations and things he can do that we couldn't do when we were kids yeah. is crazy. I think when, when we were kids, everybody knew everybody. You know that small town, mm -hmm. that small town vibe? Mm -hmm. Dubai had that many years ago, where everybody knew everybody. You go into the mall, you can bump into friends and say hi. Now it'll take you to bump randomly into one of your friends. Maybe it'll take you a year or something before that's, that that's happens. True. Because we're so big at this point, it's, it's a massive city. I want you to describe the UAE in three words. You cannot say fries, <laughs> bread, and that's not the UAE. I words. would say safe, beautiful, and tolerant. I'm a big foodie, so I say food. Uh, a hub. Oh, yeah, so that's hub my home dog. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the I'm encouragement. So <laughs> food. A hub, hub. And tech. Tech. Yeah. To me, it's uh, safety, freedom, opportunity. Like, I can do anything here. Yeah. Mine is freedom. Okay, what is yours? Responsibility. Responsibility. Oh. Mm. And bread. Bread, responsibility, and freedom. My God, you just created a new slogan for the country. <laughs> Don't ask why. Ask Maktoum. How do you celebrate your culture? I came to UAE when I was 10 years old, and I'm originally from Namibia. It's, it's difficult for me to celebrate my culture because I've been out of Namibia for so many years. We still celebrate it at home by cooking Namibian food, traditional Namibian food. Okay, how do you celebrate your culture? Well, they say like the, the quickest path to a person's heart is food. through their stomach, food. Mm -hmm. And I think that applies as well to culture. So, I mean, nothing beats food. Okay. Properly celebrate. I think we go to a Moroccan restaurant every week. He's Moroccan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. I love to cook Moroccan food as well. Okay. Uh, my, my signature dish is the stuffed Moroccan um, 
chicken with uh, vermicelli. What are some family traditions that you have been following over the years? Every Friday, Saturday, we gather, everyone gets food, it's like a potluck party. The whole family comes over. But we're talking about 90 up to 80 people in this, 80 up to 90 wow. people in this house. Just that's, that's every weekend. And, and the thing is, if I miss out, they guilt trip you. And this is part of the culture as well, on the WhatsApp group, you know? We have this small tradition because it doesn't rain very often in UAE. Mm -hmm. So when it rains, our family tradition was pancakes. It goes without saying, if it rains, it's pancake day. We all go for drives outside, you know? It's like, oh. I think the whole UAE does that when it rains. What we say in the UAE, when it rains, Joe mal nafarin. Yeah, which means like it's, uh, it's cuddle time, like it's romantic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cuddle time. Driving with like, you know, your loved ones. Oh my God. Four wheel drives. Honey, get off. It's raining. It's not raining. It's raining. <laughs> What is your favorite meal to have together as a family? Oh, bread, of course. Bre everything is bread for you. I have a Friday tradition, and that's Monday. I've been doing Monday for 20 years. It's every Friday, it's like my thing. For me, before developing all my food allergies, I can't even eat anything right now. I used to love machboos. Machboos! Follow in a machboos, yeah, but I can't do that anymore. So then you dive in with your hands, yeah? Of course, oh my God, <laughs> it drips. Before developing the allergies, I used to always have long nails. And when you eat saluna, your hands become oily and Slightly, orange. Yeah. So every time I did my manicure, it was white. After eating saluna in my uncle's house, I'd have to go do it again because it was stained. It was like saluna <laughs> stains, you know? What is your favorite thing about being an Emirati? For you first. Oh, being free. Mm -hmm. Having a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And being brave. Our leadership taught us that nothing is impossible. Yeah, that's true. Just go for what you want and it's okay to be different. What I love is how the UAE is very fast forward and very futuristic yet very cultural. So there's yeah. this mix, this fusion. Since you both are not Emiratis, but to me I consider you Emiratis because you know, you're here, you're family, right? But what do you admire about Emiratis? I think it's wonderful how you guys are always pushing the limits. Okay. Um, it's always first, you know, like the, the biggest, the tallest, uh, the first space program in the Arab nation. Uh, so a lot of things that were dream, dreamt impossible by a lot of Arab nations, uh, you guys have said, no, we can also go to space. We can also, you know, like build billion dollar companies. Um, Sana, speaking of Emiratis, I wanted, I've always wanted to ask you, yeah. what was it like to be on the Housewives of Dubai as the only, the only Emirati? Emirati. On the because this has been in a lot of limelight and a lot of people are talking about it and it's still yeah. a very hot topic. In the beginning there was a lot of backlash because people did not understand this concept. Yeah. And in Emirati doing reality TV in Hollywood, like this is non-existent, you know? So I took that leap of faith because I believe in you know, opportunities and chances. They don't go on trees and if God gives you something, it's given for a reason. And yeah. you gotta discover, right? I'd rather fail than say, you know, what if? But I think the hardest thing for me was not what people thought of me, because you know me, I don't care. What bothered me the most is how some of the women on the show were intimidated by the fact that I was a Marathi. And this bothered me, you know? I'm like, mm -hmm. in the end, I'm just human, you know? And yeah. I shouldn't be a threat to anybody because I'm local. So I loved the experience, it was fun, it was good, and I loved how I had an opportunity not to represent Emirati women, because I can't. There are so many of them, yeah. so everybody, many shades Everybody's of them. completely different, they're Definitely, all unique. Yeah, I cannot yeah. represent them. I was an example to the West about how we are here in the Middle East, and I showed them that we are not suppressed, or free, one of the reasons was is to do a PR campaign for us women in the Arab and world. And you really showed Dubai in a beautiful way. It showed so many different aspects of UAE, which is absolutely beautiful. Watching the show, yeah. episode one to the last episode, yeah. when you see me, yeah. was that 101% me? 100% you? Maybe you cut out a swear word here or two. <laughs> <you know? laughs> that is like, so true! <laughs> but everything else, in the, including the context of how you say it and what you're saying, you put your opinion out there. Yeah. You didn't change from your real motivational side, like how you are with us. You're completely the same on the show. Like I you didn't that. hold back. How were you on The Real Housewives? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, a lot of arguments. A lot of arguments, yes, that were unnecessary because we love peace, <laughs> but some people don't, okay. Thank you so much for tuning in with us and becoming part of this family gathering. I'm with the closest people to my heart. Let's go have dinner. Yep. Oh, yeah! Yeah, go get, the, go get the bread, go get the bread. <laughs> <laughs>